Hello, everybody. Um, I thought I'd tell you this week the story of Jada Bharata. Uh, the story talks about um, practicing uh, the following the spiritual path through multiple lives, uh, learning the ultimate truth about who we are, and uh, getting away from attachment uh, at each step um, without giving up love or compassion or kindness as we go. So the story is about a King Bharata, one of the great kings of India, of ancient India. He followed the Dharmic path um, and set everything right and was a noble, truly noble ruler uh, who brought India to sort of its sense of itself, right? So one of the names of India is Bharata, uh, named after him. And as any good king, as, uh, as is prescribed in the Vedas, um, as any, for any person, there is the following of the various stages of life. And so once he had completed his goals as king, uh, he wanted to go off into the forest uh, to meditate and concentrate on spiritual practice. And so he, he did what he needed to do to pass uh, the kingdom on to his uh, sons to make sure everything was set. And he went off into the forest where he began to practice uh, austerities, uh, meditating, and so on and so forth. And he very quickly achieved a um, very high level of, of attainment and spirituality. And as he was sitting there, um, deep in bliss, he uh, was sort of by a stream, and he saw a deer uh, drinking from the stream, when suddenly there's this loud roar of a lion. And the deer uh, looks up in fear and terror, and she's so frightened that she gives birth. She drops um, a young fawn uh, right into the um, into the stream, and runs away. And the lion chases the 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 mother deer and and kills it and eats it. And so Bharata sees this baby deer just born uh, in the water of the stream, and he fishes it out of the stream. And he starts to take care of it, and he starts to uh, look upon it with affection at first, caring for the deer. And the deer looks to him as, as uh, a kind of parent. And so they develop this bond. And the bond is um, beautiful, but the bond also starts to become attachment and a kind of obsession. And so... The deer is constantly in his thoughts. Everything he thinks about is about taking care of this baby deer, looking after the fawn. Uh, and he starts to put aside his own spiritual practices and just starts to look away from the true goal of life. And so as he approaches death, his fears grow about what will happen to the deer after he goes. After all, this is a, a forest full of lions and tigers and all these things. And so as he breathes his last, his final thought is about the deer. And so when he is born again, um, as uh, is common, the common conception uh, in Indian spiritual culture, he's reborn as a deer. And so when he's born as a deer, um, he, is, he has had enough spiritual practice, enough uh, good karma built up that he remembers his previous life. And he remembers uh, where he went wrong, uh, not seeing the deer as part of this greater whole, but rather uh, the deer for the deer's sake. And so he decides to continue his practice. He decides to continue his sadhana. And so he leaves his deer family and he goes back to the same ashrama where he was uh, uh, living as a human being. And he continues his practice there as a deer, right? And so he, do, he can't do everything that he needs to do, but he is conscious of life and he is conscious of his previous life. And he dedicates his life as a deer to um, seeing God, to seeing his true self, right? And so very consciously at the end of his life, uh, he goes into the river, breathes his last, speaks the name of God to the extent that one can as a deer, and then he is born again. And this time he is born into uh, the family of a noble Brahmin, a family where spiritual life will be available to him. But he's already achieved a certain state where he has gone beyond the scriptures and all the 
uh, sort of regulations around spiritual life. He shows no interest in in anything. And in fact, uh, he seems to be uh, deaf and dumb. He seems like a kind of an idiot. He's, he's already achieved the status of, of a Mauni, somebody who doesn't speak, right? And because there's no need to. He doesn't need to follow all the the uh, uh, trappings of, of religious life in the same way. And his, uh, his brothers and his family write him off as a kind of a, as an idiot, right? But he is a, um, a strong boy. He's a strong person. Um, and he has no attachment to his own desires and his own fears, uh, his, his anger, this kind of thing. And so he basically lives how others want him to live. Somebody says, go dig up that hole. He digs it up. Somebody else comes and says, fill in the hole. He fills in the hole. And so he has no sort of concern for his own uh, uh, fears and desires uh, for gaining anything in this life. Instead, he keeps his thoughts upon, um, upon the higher reality throughout. And his deafness and his dumbness, his seeming muteness, uh, are what make him make it possible for him. Nobody is asking him uh, for anything else. And so he wanders off into the forest at some point. You know, his, um, his family uh, doesn't really look upon him as, as uh, um, uh, worthy. And he happens to um, fall into uh, observation by a rich man who wants to perform a human sacrifice. Uh, to a mother goddess. And so they try to capture him to sacrifice him. This is in ancient times when these sort of things happened, apparently. And they, um, they clean him up and prepare him for sacrifice, dress him properly, anoint him, and so on and so forth. And then as they do so, as they're preparing the sacrifice, at that moment the goddess comes down not to accept the sacrifice of Jada Bharata, Jada mean is sort of deaf and dumb, inert, but rather she kills those who would kill him, right? And so he wanders off again, and he's off in the forest living his life of um, aloof from the body, as it were, um, aloof from um, sort of material or phenomenal concerns. Uh, when uh, a king, who is looking for spiritual lessons from Kapila, from the um, expositor of Sankhya philosophy. Uh, this rich man, this king, is, is being carried on a, on a palanquin to go meet this sage where he will learn of the highest wisdom. But one of his palanquin bearers uh, is unable to continue his duty. And so they stumble across Jatabharata, this sort of strong, healthy, uh, but dumb youth, and they basically draft him into service, and so he goes. But by this point, Jatabharata has attained such a, um, an understanding of, of the world that as he walks, um, like any good sadhu, he has to be very careful that he does not step on any little creatures, any insects or, or bugs or frogs or whatever else. So he's terrible at carrying this palanquin. And so he's forever jerking the king about, um, and the other palanquin bearers are getting angry, the king is getting angry, until finally um, he sort of gets down out of the palanquin and decides to berate Jarabharata and says, who are you exactly that you should carry my palanquin so uh, poorly, right? And Jarabharata then opens his mouth and says, well, I am not carrying your palanquin because I am not this body. I am not the carrier of the palanquin. The body is the carrier. And whatever applies to this body is passing, changes. Whether I be fat or thin or strong or weak, whether I'm in distress, whether I'm thirsty or hungry, whether I have desires for material happiness, old age, sleep, attachment of anything, anger, lamenta lamentations, I sort of ideas of myself as a body or the self, all of these are just transformations of the material, the bodily self that is covering this knowledge of Atman. And so at this point, uh, the king stops and he realizes that what he was looking for uh, was at his 
uh, was bearing his palanquin supposedly towards this um, this other sage, Kapila, right? And so he gets down, he uh, uh, bows before Jada Bharata, and from there begins one of the most clear uh, and direct explanations of the Advaita philosophy, the philosophy of non-duality uh, that exists in the Bhagavatam. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll talk again more about this and uh, be well.